YouTube, what up? Back again, Nathan Wood Latch with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day, uh, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Uh, I hope it's going good so well. Um, today we are going to go to my chiropractor slash coach uh, and get fixed. I have several issues I've been talking about in my previous videos, so today we're gonna go get them adjusted, cracked, ripped, torn, tweaked, <laughs> all the above. Um, so I decided I'll bring you guys along with me and see what kind of footage I can get down there. I hope I can get something good for you or at least give you an idea of what's going on. So with that being said, let's get on the road. Uh, we're heading down to Athens. It's roughly 45 minute drive or so. And I will check in with you guys when we get down there. So I'll see you then. So we made it down here. Um, so we're going to go inside. I'll chat with him for a little bit and see exactly what he wants to do. Um, hopefully they don't put me through too much pain like they did last time. That hurt. But if so, then it's just part of the process. But um, I'll bring you guys along with me. So here we go. Athens Advanced Chiropractic down here in Athens, Ohio. To go up around and see how that feels. Alright All right, guys, well we're finally finished. Um, I couldn't really stick around for too long because he had more clients uh, coming in the door, but um, his name's Ian Butcher. Check him out on Instagram. It's at Bodybuilding Doc. Um, the man knows what he's doing, full of information. Uh, he's also a prep coach or diet coach. Um, anything you need, just hit him up. Or if you're local and you need to get fixed, stop down here um, I will leave all of his information in the description box down below make sure to check him out uh, also if you just want to check him out he's a monster uh, so go look at him show him some love basically what I did um, did a lot of repair work on my tendons and my shoulder and then as you can see from the video um, adjustments with my back everything is a lot better than it was last week so just within a week um we've made a lot of improvements which is very nice i don't know if you could see my pain faces throughout throughout the adjustments or what but um we're on the road to recovery so that's a big plus a uh, little bit of at home stuff i need to do icing uh foam rolling etc etc but uh, other than that, we're going to go lift today, see how everything feels with that, and just keep going from there. So, uh, I will see you guys again soon. Home, got all changed and everything, um, and got some food in me, thank God, because I was starving. Um, and now we're about to head to the gym. I think we're going to hit some back, uh, see how everything holds up with 
me just getting fixed and treated and twisted and turned and everything else. Um, so I will see you guys there and try to get as much of my workout on footage, on film, however you want to say it, uh, as I possibly can. So I'll see you guys there. All right, here we are starting off this back workout with some uh, seated pull downs. Um, if you can notice my hand placement on these, instead of grabbing where I guess your hands are supposed to go, um, I keep them out wide. I'm more or less grabbing the bars. Uh, I like to do that just to kind of switch it up, but also to work on my lats, you know, more focus on getting wider, I guess you could say. Um, recently found those a few weeks ago and just started incorporating them and I'm loving the results. For the most part throughout this workout, I uh, stuck to roughly 12 to 15 reps, um, four or five sets on certain workouts. I was feeling extremely good, um, which was very surprising considering I just got worked on and I'll be honest with you guys, that stuff does not feel good. Um, the pulling and twisting of the arms and you know my shoulder, my tendons, it hurts. but. We're making progress and that's all that matters. Here as you'll see, we got some seated rows. Uh, just a couple of different angles for you guys. I kind of want to apologize uh, for my angles that I'm able to get. Filming by myself can be uh, difficult at times, so I'm only able to you know, do certain things. But I'm trying to you know, give you guys the best angle that I possibly can. You'll see right here, I dropped the weight and I go into a drop set. This is my last set. So technically, I guess you could say I did five sets of this exercise. So I decided, you know, why not just run with it? If something's feeling good, you know, do five, six, seven sets, as many as you want. And also guys, don't be afraid to uh, incorporate drop sets or supersets into your workouts. It gives you that last, you know, push through your workouts. It'll kind of help, you know, take your workouts to that next level. Here we are doing some bent over dumbbell rows. Uh, once again, I do apologize for the angles. I, you know, I can only do so much, but for the most part, I feel you can see uh, what I'm doing. I think this was my first or second set, roughly 80 pound dumbbells. Uh, I normally I work up to the 120s, but due to the fact that I'm, you know, working with injuries and trying to stay away from hurting myself more i just kept it fairly light and just got really really good reps and really good sets and i will tell you that i felt this the next day very much i was extremely sore um everything except for my lower back because i didn't really go to work on it much that was that's my very very sensitive area due to the fact that i've had issues for years and then him working on it um, that day I kind of wanted to stay away from it at times it was you know hard to sit down even but I mean with what we do you know day in and day out pushing our body to the absolute limit uh, you got to take care of yourself and it's going to hurt that's a part of recovery but it's better to get it done and take care of yourself now before it's too late or before you know things get a lot worse hey we're gonna finish up this back day with some rear delts. I like to be seated when I do these, just it keeps me from rocking. And guys, don't forget your rear delts. A lot of people do. They're a huge part of getting that cap on your shoulders. And if you guys remember, like I said earlier, uh, here I am gonna get up and grab some different dumbbells, uh, lower weight. I'm gonna go into some drop sets just to finish this workout off nice and strong. Um, and if you'll notice with my uh, my form how I don't go all the way back like a row it's more or less I guess you could say it looks like a half rep uh, that's just because I don't want to incorporate any of my back in this movement I just want to target my rear delt give those a try guys let me know what you think waiting for a package to come I got me and the wife some uh, custom jewelry from tonyshopspot.com and I'm pretty excited for it to come in um, if you guys want to, go check it out. I'll leave all of his information in the description. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout um, and the little voiceover I was able to do. Like I said, 
in the voiceover. Um, I know the angles on some of my clips are kind of off and it makes it sort of hard for you guys to see. But um, I've had a couple friends reach out to me recently and tell me that they'll help me with the filming. So I'm going to take full advantage of that and uh, be able to get more better angles for you guys. Be able to kind of explain things a little bit better. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, leave all your comments and everything down below. Uh, if you guys want some online coaching, have any questions like that, feel free to email me. Uh, I'm always looking for new clients and to help people achieve their goals. So... Oh, one last thing. Help me with a sign off. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so leave that in the comments as well, please. But with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day. See ya.